What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, if you are new to the channel, um, we are doing my S2000, it's a 2006 AP2, and getting ready to um, finish up the paint. Um, I had to take a little bit of a break, but so far we sanded the hood, um, had to fix a few like rock chips. You can still kind of see them right now because I've, on I've only compounded the hood, one I did one step on it so far. Um, probably gonna have to go uh, I guess through it like three or four more times before it becomes like um, at my level acceptable um, so I'm gonna start there I'm gonna start with the hood then do the fenders and move towards the back of the car um, as we progress but I'm going to start um, with the hood um, I am starting with a microfiber pad um, and that's what I'm using right now. So microfiber pad and cutting count compound. I'm using Sonex um, cut max. So that's the compound that I'm using to do one step on it. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much um, do another step on the, the hood. Um, I'm going to do the microfiber probably two passes with the uh, the hood the fenders in the door and then um, the rest I'll just do one pass and that is pretty much it all right guys what's up so ran into a little uh, issue when I was um, changing the backing plate oh, let me let me show you guys so I ended up getting a um, a six inch backing plate, right? For the, uh, the was it the LHR 15 or whatever model this is? Yeah, the 15. So I got the Mark III. The issue when I, when I use this with the six inch plate is this little rubber piece. I don't know if you can see it, but um, with the backing plate, when it was on, um, the backing plate like, is thin up top so like that rubber piece started chewing away at it and it just like chewed at it and I don't know if anybody else had this issue but when I was um, you know when I was using it I kind of like smelled heat from it so I was like what the heck is going on and it, and it threw rubber all over the place so I had to clean up um, anyways long story short I went back to the five inch backing plate I already did so what I ended up having to do was, let's see, I did uh, two passes with the microfiber on the on the hood, and then I did one pass with the, uh, that's a, uh, I think a medium cut, yeah, medium cutting pad with the uh, cut max. So pretty much did a three step on the hood, and then I'm gonna do a, uh, a finishing stage next. Um, and I'll probably use a fine cutting pad and then saw next, um, uh, probably the perfect finish. Yeah, I'll use this, which is uh, in there. Sonics, perfect finish. So that's what I'm gonna do after I finish using the uh, the the regular pad on um, the sides. I ended up doing the doors. I did one. What did I do? One stage on the door with the microfiber. Then I did two passes on the fender and I'm about to do the uh, the trunk. So the trunk and the rear bumper are the least like, have the least issues. So I'm, I'm just gonna go straight to the, the pad. I didn't, I'm pretty sure I didn't need the uh, microfiber. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to set my stuff up now and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing back there. All right guys. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna do the the trunk in two uh, two sections. So I'm just splitting it in half, pretty much. So right down the uh, the middle, um, that's kind of the the plan, at least. 
So what I do is I start on step, or um, I guess speed one, and I spread everything around first. Um, Once I have um, once I have it on step one, then I go to, to six, and then I do my passes. Um, with this pad, I do five passes. Um, I, I do the little, you know, the cross hatching or or whatever, um, and that's how I, I, you know, do my my cuts. Um, sometimes I change it up depending on like what type of um, patterns are on the car and things like that. S2000 has pretty, you know, straight lines, so I can kind of go at, at whatever speed. So I'm gonna do my passes, and then uh, we'll we'll rendezvous after I do the uh, the the trunk and kind of um, go through what I'm gonna do next. All right, guys, I'm stopping here. Um, basically, I. <laughs> did the the last step before I'm going to do the fine um, the you know the fine grade pad and then like a um, finishing polish um, let's see just to cover everything um, I hit all the major body panels I do have to the next time that we're gonna um, go over the car I had to order a um, another. Uh, I actually ordered a smaller polisher um, to get in between, like where the grill is, and then to hit the uh, the bumper in the um, the lower part of the side, um, the side skirts. So um, that's supposed to be in tomorrow. Um, it's a three inch uh, Rupes. I think the um, I think the LHR seventy. 5e is what I got. I think that's what I ordered. Um, but it's a three inch polisher and um, that way I can get in between like the smaller parts um, and then I can hit the uh, mirrors. Um, once I do that then I'm going to just go over with um, a Rupes fine um, pad and then a uh, the Sonics perfect finish. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I spent six hours on the car today and got uh, most of it done. Let's see, what we did was three step on the, um, the hood, um, pretty much like a three step on the fenders as well. Pretty much all the parts that we sanded down, we had to do like a three step um, and then it'll eventually be like four or five steps once we're done um, because we're gonna use the, uh, the finishing pad with the uh, Sonics Perfect Finish and maybe a, a polishing pad, um, I'm not sure. Um, once I use the, uh, the, the, the fine pad, it it'll, might be done. Um, the car pretty much, it's gonna be a five footer um, for, for sure. Um, there's a, like a lot, of, a lot of things that, that I'm like very OCD about and that's pretty much um, <laughs> how I am with all my cars, so. That's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm just gonna wrap up and finish up and uh, see you guys till next time. Peace. Ugh.